It's just meant to be. It's a miracle. Train conductor Brad Slater could barely believe what he found while performing a routine safety check in Wainwright early Sunday morning. And then I heard a cry and it was him. Frostbitten and covered in snow, this little guy was tucked under the engine deck of a sand train for up to 12 hours in minus 40 degree weather. Slater says he fed the cat water and some beef jerky until they reached Edmonton, where his wife helped to bring the cat home. I just knew that he would get the best love, care and affection from here. With no collar or chip, Slater has since named him Q199. That's the identification code of the train he was found in. It just looks like a Q, Q for short, like Q199. And the two have an overnight connection. Come here. Come here, buddy. Slater has spent the day caring for little Q, buying him special food and taking him to the vet for a checkup. He's got a few cuts on his paws and some frostbite on his ear, which he's already lost this one. This one's pretty bad, too. Q will need more veterinary care in the days ahead. Slater, meantime, is convinced he's a house cat. Oh, yeah. Like he's, he's so affectionate, so lovable, so docile. And that his family is somewhere in the prairies, likely Winnipeg, says Slater, where the train made a stop near homes. He's either a, a Saskatchewan Rough Rider fan, which I hope not, or a Winnipeg Jet fan, which I hope not. But uh, he told me this morning his favorite player is Connor McDavid. So, For now, little Q seems to be fitting well into Edmonton. But if his owner is found? It'll be hard. I want visitation rights. But uh, it's the right thing to do because there's someone out there that's missing this guy. Chanel Call, CTV News, Edmonton.